National political analysts weigh in on the Maisie Hirono versus Linda Lingle matchup for the U.S. Senate and concerns of voter intimidation in Kalihi, allegedly by veteran lawmaker Romy Cochola. Those are the stories that our partners at Civil Beat are following this morning. And joining us over Skype is political reporter Chad Blair. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, KITV. Well, this year we've got a presidential election, obviously, and with Hawaii mostly Democratic and clearly labeled as Obama country, does Republican Linda Lingle have a chance of winning? Well, we talked to three national experts, and two of them said, no, she does not. And the reason is, is because President Obama was born in Hawaii, and that there's just no way voters are going to go in there and split their votes to vote for Linda Lingle for Senate and for Obama as president. One of those analysts said, you know, she does stand a chance. She's a very good candidate. She has to convince voters that they're voting for two different races, a president uh, and a U.S. Senate candidate. So one of those things that Linda Lingle could still pull off a victory. Well, you never know what's going to happen in politics, and I know a lot of people are watching it with a lot of anticipation. And there's also a lot of buzz over allegations of voter intimidation. What's going on after the election? Well, this is a fascinating story. Uh, in Kalihi, Romy Cachola was term limited as a council member, ran for a state house seat. He beat Nicole Velasco by just 120 votes. Well, Civil Beat analyzed the vote, and what we learned is that had it not, been for the absentee mail-in ballots in one precinct in that Kalihi district, Nicole Velasco would have won in a landslide. So we called Cachola and said, you know, what's the deal here? How do you how do you do this? And he says, what he does is he goes around and he educates people about the ballots to make sure that they don't fill them out incorrectly. He says he does not intimidate the voters. He knows that that's against the law. So in many ways, you have a he said, she said sort of situation. But I can tell you this story has really struck a lot of nerves. Uh, we've got a lot of calls and email, emails from folks since that story runs saying you got to look at this thing more. Something that's going on there in Kalihi. Well, certainly, and we look forward to hearing more details about that. You also have a story about pollution from Kilauea Volcano and an interesting study by Hawaiian Electric. What's all that about? <laughs> well, Hawaiian Electric would like to prove what we already know, that volcanic emissions, VOG, uh, is caused by Kilauea, and the reason they want that to be done is they want the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, to hold back on a regional plan to control that haze. That plan could include uh, limits on, uh, on pollutants, uh, emissions sent into the air. So Hawaiian Electric would like to get that on the record so the EPA uh, thinks more carefully about their plan. Okay, well those emissions are going to keep coming, right Chad? <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to stop Madam Pele from doing what she does best. All right. Well, Chad Blair, thanks for joining us this morning. And definitely, those are really interesting stories. Thank you for reading KITV and Civil Beat. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you can find the complete stories that we just discussed on CivilBeat.com. It is 639.